646, 10 on your side has been working to find out how difficult it is for ex-prisoners to find work once they get out of prison. Investigative reporter Chris Horn looked into the support and hurdles inmates face as they try to leave their past behind. Definitely by all means, we want to give them a second chance. But to give a convicted felon a second chance, you need to be willing to take a chance. We found a factory in Hampton Roads that has turned former inmates into part of a productive workforce. We ask if they've ever been convicted of a crime, and if they say yes, then we just ask them to explain. And before they even get hired, programs are in place to help former inmates develop the skills to find a job. Because we know that it's important for them to come back to the community, um, to find employment, to uh, contribute to their families, and be productive members within the community. And sometimes the face of a convicted felon might not be what you would expect. This grandmother went to federal prison. I made a mistake. But my mistake caused me to be away from my family for five years. And this man said three years behind bars was what he needed to begin to think seriously of a life without crime. Fortunately, in this area, we have plenty of resources for people that are being released. Mm -hmm. It's just whether you decide to use them or not. Mm -hmm. and, and that's it. You've got to use your resources. But even the best system of willing employers and community services is far from foolproof. We found out just how tough it is for a former offender to remain just that, a former offender. And that's where this investigation took an abrupt turn. Chris Horn, 10 on your side. You can see Chris Horn's investigation, Life After Release, on Wavy News 10 tonight at 6, with coverage beginning at 4 p.m.